as the DCTA navigates two different paths. Apartment complex, not just the arch, but the others. They don't like really talk about deeper information about why there's two routes. Some UNT students have been blindsided. Frankly, I'm frustrated. Um, there should be change somewhere in it because why should students have to stress about something that should just be instant? In hopes to have more smooth and fast travel, the Denton County Transportation Authority has reportedly changed different bus routes for the rest of the spring semester. These buses reportedly made 28 stops at each student apartment in total to ensure that the students make it to the university and class on time. However, the Arch of Denton has only saw two to five stops per day in recent weeks, suggesting that some students have had trouble being present on campus. Um, that bus will park on the, on the corner, and then sometimes the students have to walk across the street. Now, the apartments and the students want answers as to why these routes have been cut short, and what's not being told to them directly. It's very stressful, um, not knowing when the bus will come. If you have a nine o'clock class or a three o'clock class, you don't know when the bus, you just have to sit out and basically play the wait game for the bus to come. Which leads to the residents just wanting to be heard. How the heck they, you get dropped off by one stop and just go on to UNT? That's my question. Everything should be set up, right? I should be able to get on the bus, go to class, stress-free. While the DCTA, Orange Denton, and the university try to sort out these new developments, one is to wonder what will be in store for the future of the students. Reporting for NT Daily News, I'm Trevor Garrett.